That's right. If God can't ain't no more to somebody than a program or something that man can come up in his mind to do and try to limit God to one eye and the whole body of being an eye, then there's something wrong. That's what he's saying. It ain't you limit we're limiting God. These parts and these pieces of the body that don't look like they might not be as functional, it's probably more benefit to the body of Christ than the ones that looks like they're more out front and more functional. Verse 22, no, much more those members of the body which seem to be the more feeble or the more inferior are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor. Now listen, I want to make a statement here to you. This ain't Paul saying that we are wanting to do this. This is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost talking here. Never one time is it went out that a man's are trying to get this point across, is it? Huh? Even if it was, they are letting their bodies lay in the background that the Holy Ghost and the God, the Father, and the Son can be the ones in the front picture of saying what they want done. Yeah. Amen? All right. yeah. He said, Upon these we bestow more abundant honor. We who? And our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. The parts that don't seem to be as important to a lot that we put more abundance and more privileges and more and teach them how to they can fit in better to where that they can be more important than what you see in the limelight. Amen. I can teach you the gospel up here, and Kenneth can teach it, and Brandon, and Jonathan, or whoever. But the thing about it is, and I'm not getting on this on money, and I'm not going to say nothing about money tonight. But it takes money. I mean, this, but this part right here, somebody has to give to keep it going. Somebody's got to pray. Somebody's got to work in the ministry of helps. Somebody's got to work in the ministry of governments. Somebody's got to work in all these different ministries to take care of what you see. Amen? Verse 24, For our comely parts have no need. In other words, the ones that's up front, that's a minister and that you can see, it said that you don't see the need there in them. But God hath tempered the body together. Kenneth was talking about this morning, about it being knit together. That makes it stouter. He's tempered it together. In the Greek, that means that he, that he uh, mixed it together or co-mingled it together to where it would be laced up like a web, to where it would hold and it wouldn't come loose or come undone. For the comely parts have no need, but God hath tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked. How did he do it? How did he give more abundant honor to that part that lacked? Because he put it in a place to where there was honor through other people in the body of Christ and put it in a position that God had called and knitted it and wove it in together to where it could be solid in there with it. Amen? Can you see that? Yes. Having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked. Verse 25. That there should be no schism in the body but that the members should have the same care one for another. There's no schism. He done that so that there would be no schism in the body. In the Greek, that word means a division or that there won't be no split or gap in this thing. 
He don't want his body. If there was a hundred people here that was spirit-filled, born-again people tonight, he does not want the from the least to the greatest, the way that human eyes looks at them, he don't want any gap, any split in between them. No word. He wants it all to be knit and bound and knotted together to where you couldn't tear it apart regardless of what you try to do. You hear me? Yes. That there should be no division in the body or no gap or no split, but that the members should have the same, should have the same, that the members should have the same care one for another. No less care for one over here that's just a being a that's a praying for the ministry all the time. Maybe that they deserve more honor than the one up front because if the one up front didn't have that and back there praying or that and it maybe don't, we don't even know who is that's a praying a lot, maybe that's why God puts anointing on somebody to teach something like this. 